standing watching a film. Yeah. I want my cell phone. Yeah, I know. I didn't put it on charge. I'm sorry. I'll do that tonight. All right, then. Yeah, you take care. Love you lots. All right, then. Bye. Special Edition Super Duper Deluxe Never Before Released with this extra one minute. Fire. My God, they're gonna come and get me. I want you out of my house now. You're safe. Don't worry. No! I want you out of my house now. I want to use the other phone and call the police. They would take both of us. And you'll miss the journey. What journey? What are you talking about? The one. Where we leave tomorrow. I ain't leaving. I'm not going anywhere, especially with you. Get some sleep. I'm not going to talk anymore. I need to rest.
Get away from my car! So one thing to me, I think you need me more than I need you. Look, I'm not moving until you tell me what's going on. I'm doing this for you. For now, it's just on a need to know basis. Well, I need to know. Well, um, what do I call you then? Dylan. Hi, I'm Pete. I know. I used to have a cat called Dylan. I know. Tell me why we're here. You won't be that much. Okay. You need to meet a guy called Lee Byrne. You can get an aircraft ticket off him. Where are we going? Well, I guess we're going on the plane, but what country? Okay, I'll go along with all your cryptic clue stuff. Uh space, the moon. Well, in case you don't know, you can't buy tickets to the moon. There's nothing there anyway. Don't ask things if you don't believe me. It's not going to show up. Damn him! Hell for this. Timmy Mallet. Sorry, mate. I'm Timmy Mallet. I'm, I'm not Timmy Mallet. You got the wrong person. Give me your wallet. place in three days. It's up north. I'll meet you there. What? And there's some money in the boot to let you stay in hotels. What? You're leaving me? Hi! 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 Uh, hi. Are you heading the remote away? Um, well I guess I am now. Any chance of a lift? Heading. Leeds. Um, yeah, yeah, sure, get him. Oh, thanks. Oh, would you be a lover way? I really didn't expect to get a lift this quickly. Yeah, okay. Would you come with me? Where? Well, I need to return something to the shop. Yeah, okay then.
no money in here. Bloody liar. Honestly, I really don't mind sleeping in the car. If I had money, I would have got us a hotel to stay in. It's okay, don't worry about it. Down there looks nice and quiet. Get the engine running, otherwise I'll run out of petrol. Where are you going? Changed their name now to, to some other other, I'm really not sure. Oh, what did you leave? Well, I was hoping to start my own business, and you know how things go, you just, just, things just go straight, and, mm. you know, it just happens. To me. me, I'm going to be an actress. I've got visions of the red carpet and, and the press interviewing me. And, Beaming magazines, and one of these days I'm going to be big. I really am, I know I am. That makes it oh, yes. really good. Yeah, I'm going to make it. I think you will. I will. I, I will. know I will. It'll be really nice. You wake up these two people, I'll go below and wake up the others. I'm 
Money. <laughs> Breakfast filled me right up. I'll pop me to the shop to get myself a drink. Do you want one? Hey, what's the matter? Company's just phoned. Yeah? Well, they've cancelled my appointment. So, what's. Well, oh, oh, I, I don't need to go now. Oh. I suppose I may see you around. Yeah, yeah. Well, did you take care anyway? And oh, and you, and thank you for everything. That's all right. Thank you. Thank you. All right. It's okay. I'll see you later then. Bye. Bye. Bye.
are you doing this to me? <sighs> you made a fake call to spawn it. <laughs> and because of you, we was late to another goal. And if I had one more minute, Found me out of line! Someone stole my car. I knew you'd be back. Nobody leaves all that stuff behind. Who are you? You moved out. I've moved in. Now go away or I'll call the police. I've never moved. You called the landlord two days ago to cancel your tenancy. No, I didn't. That's what the landlord told me. He said after he got a removal truck and moved your stuff out, I could move in. My, st my stuff? Where is it? Taken away. I found some bits and I put them in a bag. What bits? I'll go and get the bag. A phone charger, razor blades and that sort of stuff. My money? Yeah, I found it in the kitchen drawer with a plastic gun. So you moved in then? I don't want any trouble. Everything else has gone for me. Given, and the Lord taketh away. Standing by the bedside, all but spent from a night of love. And your face was bathed in moonlight as it fell through the window from above. Lord, I watched you. For the longest time Try not to make a sound Till the light shone On my empty pillow As the moon moved around He can take my eyes I don't need them Is there anything else I need to see Your sweet face I'm crazy. 
Lucifer, you are ready. What could he take away? You made it okay. Well, not really. I got beaten up because of some fire that wasn't there. Behind me is a jump point, like the one we was at three days ago. Jump point? The place the craft leave from. Oh. You're gonna have to buy a ticket from here. There's Lee Burt. Quick, stop him. Lee Burt? The guy you're supposed to meet three days ago. Oh! Lee? Lee Burt? It's Burt. Who wants to know? I'm Peter. You were supposed to meet me at a car park in Heathrow? Shh. You got a ticket for us. Man, you have caused me some problems. Ask him why he let you down. So why didn't you turn up? I got there late. When I did arrive, there's police everywhere. There's some masked guy on the floor dead. And they arrested me for it. But lucky enough they let me go because they didn't know the cause of death. So what are you doing up north? My firm transferred me up here. They didn't want that guy's death linked to the jump point. Get the ticket. So you still got the tickets? Yeah. And they're the same price. Hey. Five thousand pounds like we agreed. Give him the five grand. Don't have the five grand. It's in your boot. The bloke that beat me up stole it. You're gonna have to kill him and take the tickets. No way, I can't do that. Or you could tell him to wait for a couple of days. Okay. Hi. I haven't got the money right now because I've left it in my car. Well, well, the hotel's safe. So what are you saying? You ain't got it? No, I mean, I mean, I can get it. But it's going to take me two days and I'm just wondering if we can meet up then. Don't be wasting my time or I'm going to have to knock you out. <sighs> Looks like everybody wants to knock me out. Two days. Here. Where are we going to get this five grand from? You have an account with Otty Bank. No, I don't. Yes, you do. I have the account number here, and tomorrow you're going to withdraw it. Where's the car? It was stolen. The same guy that stole the money? Uh, no, he had his own car. I left it unlocked and left the keys in it. things from home. Did you cancel my tenancy? Yeah, you'll never live there again. Why? Because when we come back, you will have... I will have what? You got any money on you now? Yeah, some. Enough for a B&B? &B? Yeah, I guess. I mean, I was in one yesterday. Get some sleep and meet me at the Otty Bank on Rank Avenue at 11.23. 
Hello? Alright oh, mum. No, 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 don't worry about that person answering the phone at home. You just call me on this mum number for now on. Yeah, I do live there, yeah. No, I'm, I'm in Leeds at the moment. No, I'm alright. Yeah, look, uh, can I call you tomorrow? I will. It's just a sweet okay then, yeah, you take care, love you lots. Okay, bye, bye. to the bank to make sure they've got the money and filled out the forms. All you need to do is give this account number to the cashier and come around here and get in this car. Whose car is it? It's mine. Oh. Back in a sec. Really friendly in there. They seem to just want to give me the money. Get in. Hello? Yeah? I know I said this week, but the doctor changed my antidepressants. You know I need the money, you know I've got no money at all. You, you know I'd, I'd come into work if I could. Yeah, no, no, I'll, I'll be in next week because uh, I've got no food here or nothing. Okay. Alright, I'll see you next week then. The time is 1pm, I'm Clifford Hoft. Here are today's top stories. A bank robber has stolen over £50,000 in a daring raid at the Leeds branch of the OTPM Bank. Eyewitness reports state that the man looked confused and handed a note to the cashier. The note simply said, Give me all the money in the till or you will die. The scared cashier handed it over the money and the robber walked out calmly. Police do have a description of the robber, but they advise the public not to approach this man. In other news, a group of friends that make homemade films on the weekends are being sued by a major film studio for making fan films based on the studio's TV show. In a recent press release, a spokesman for the studio said, We understand that the fan films are better than our show, and we just won't allow it. More news on this story as it happens. Yeah, uh, yeah, we've got the Porsche and the driver. Uh, no mention of Peter Ward. I've questioned him myself. Um, we've got him in cell two downstairs. Taking some money out. Give the rest to Lee. Any reason? Tell him to keep quiet. Andrew Watkins. I know nothing of bank job. I don't know any Peter Ward. When you collared me, I was driving the Porsche because it used to be mine and my girlfriend went and sold it on me when I was banked up a couple of months ago. Um, I had cash hidden in the boot and it was all I had. So when I'd done my time, I went looking for it. Um, I was dead lucky to find the car with the keys inside. 
Um, but the boot was empty. So I took the car back as payment and that's it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I don't believe him either. And if he doesn't tell us where Peter Ward is, you've been getting bloody ten years. He's behind me now. Go. Right, the price has just gone up. Why? For reasons, you're starting to annoy me. Well, how much? It's gone up to 7,000. Is that all? Well, it's poor enough to cover it there. But can you, can you keep that quiet? Yeah, man, I can if you can. One? Where's the other one? Deal for one ticket only. You mentioned there's two tickets last time. Yeah, but I thought it was for two. No, nah, mate, only for one. That's ready to leave in two weeks' time down by Heathrow. Heathrow? I've got to go back down south. Yep, that's where I got a ticket from. Alright, alright. Thanks very much. There's only one ticket. I know. But are you coming? I'll meet you there. Where? At the moon or near Heathrow? I'll find you. Keep a low profile. And use this money to stay somewhere down south. What, are you leaving me again? Get some rest. And stay away from people. Any bank? One friend gave me all the account numbers and he signed the forms. Signed the forms? Why didn't he get the money out when he when he went in there? Sorry, what are you trying to say? I was set up. I mean, I handed a note to the cashier. It said on the news. The note said, "Give me your money or you're going to die." I mean, I, I didn't really read the note. Oh. Where are you staying? Well, I was going to go back to my mum's. You can't go back there. The place is going to be crawling with police. Oh, this ain't good. Listen, you're going to have to start mine. Here's the address. I mean, I'll pay you. I don't mind. I've got loads of money that Dylan gave me from the bank. I don't want that money. Listen, if I'm not there, just wait around, OK? OK? You just keep your head down. Look, there, there's my dress. Oh my god, just, just run! Just go hide somewhere! Go! Run! Okay, thanks. way to get to London? No. Uh, I'm trying to get to Piccadilly Circus. Do you have any look, look, please go away. What's up? Just... Can you at least tell me where am I? You're in a trading estate. 
I heard you English had a crazy sense of humor. It's okay, buddy. All right, buddy. I'll leave you. I don't think this is your car. Of course it's my car! See? It's my car! Sir, I'm, I'm with the RCMP, the Canadian Mounted Police. We, we do it all the time. He didn't know me. There was some wire dangling from a fence. Is he dead? I don't know. I ran. I was frightened that somebody would think I killed him. Did anyone see you? No, I don't think so. Oh no. What? He had a camera. He took a picture of me sitting in someone's car. Oh no, did you grab the camera? Oh, I just ran. The time is 1 p.m. I'm Clifford Hart. Here are today's top news headlines. An armed bank robber is suspected in the murder of a Canadian law enforcement officer. Petrol is set to rise by another 10%. And fan filmmakers send him out of court. There has been a startling development in the case of last Tuesday's robbery. John Carter, a Canadian law enforcement officer who was on vacation, has been found dead in the Hounslow area. It is believed that John Carter was murdered while attempting to apprehend the main suspect in the robbery, who police have now positively identified as Peter Ward, an unemployed man of Felton. Police investigating the case now suspect that Peter Ward may also be linked to an unsolved murder of a man found dead in a Felton car parking building last week. Peter Ward is considered to be extremely dangerous. Police are urging the public to avoid any contact with this man. Motorists are bracing for yet another petrol price increase. Have you got anyone you can go to? Not really. But I think I'm going to have to use the ticket and see what happens. Train ticket? Yeah. Have you any old friends or distant family you can go to? Not really. Old girlfriend? I wish. Go on, tell me. There's nothing to tell. Just that... 
Come on, tell me. Well, I can't believe I'm telling you this. There was a girl I worked with a few years ago. I want to hear the details. Well, she had this boyfriend and ended up cheating on her. And then she moved and I can't track her down. Oh, that's sad. Did she like you? Yeah. We used to go lunch together and spend a lot of time talking. Well, I'm pretty sure she did. Was it love at first sight for you? Oh yeah, yeah. You know, I walked into my office and uh, there she was. Have you tried looking for her on the internet? Yeah. Oh well. So this ticket, when are you leaving? Well, if it's all right by you, I wonder if I can stay for nearly on two weeks. Yeah, I might need to use some of that money though. But, you know, you can stay here for as long as you want. You set me up at the bank, and some guy died because of that, and now I'm wanted by the police. It's time to go. Get the ticket. No, I'm gonna go to Jump Point on my own. You've caused me nothing but problems. Hey, I got the papers. They finally stopped talking about you. Yeah, this is um. I'm gonna make up a tea. Would you like one? Hey, Annabelle, come here. Come here. This is that guy Dylan, the one who set me up. Hey, I got some really good news. I might have an acting job with a bunch of amateur filmmakers. They do them like fan film things. That's really good news. But, um, Dylan wants me to leave him right now. Shame. Shame they only make fan films. I think they got into trouble for it, though. see you. No one can see you. No. 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 You, 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 you can't be dead. Get the ticket. This is like that film. I see dead people film. I'm not dead. You see dead people? No, I was just saying, have you seen that film? Oh yeah, I've seen that film. It's full of mistakes. Well, in fact, most of the films that that man makes are full of mistakes. Plenty with water. Anyway, the kettle's boiled. We have to leave now. You have to get on that craft without fail. Well, well, let me say goodbye. Um. I'm really going to have to leave now. I'm, I'm grateful for everything. Oh! Um, I mean, I'll, I'll leave you some money here. You can spend it on whatever you want. Yeah, but th that's not going to leave you much. But I won't need it where, where I'm going, I don't think. Oh! Thanks so much. That's okay. Oh. Like when you're acting. Cheers. Hey, if, if you're ever back this way, please let me up. Yeah, thanks. I will. you live. But, but, but you took it. No, the bank money's stupid. I don't have much of that left. Kill him. Just give me what you got. I, I can't kill him. 
throw me over what you have left now, quick. Take the gun. Shoot him. I can't kill him. I can't shoot. Um. No, look, seriously, the gun's not loaded. I was only joking. My wife left me. She took the kids, and there's nothing. <laughs> what? Did you do that? Finish him. Oh, oh, oh God. Oh. You need to be oh. tougher. Murder doesn't make you tougher. Your mind is weak. You need to be in control. You're, you're sick! Why? Soon, you'll be glad I'm pushing you. You let people walk all over you. So, at least I'm not a murderer. You need to say and do the things on your mind. What? You wanted to kill him. Now it's time you started to live your dream. This is a back entrance to the jump point. I'll meet up with you later. Helmets anymore, you might feel sick, but that's okay. I am going to explain a bit about your trip. You are going to the far side of the moon. You are going to meet Jaff. He is in the trees and plants now. time don't get very many people down here in my part of this town okay you're that famous bank robber aren't you news travels fast but I was set up can I borrow some money <laughs> just joking unless you have some spare of course uh, anyway what be your pleasure well I, I don't know what I'm doing here okay okay take a seat You've been sent here to get some transport to go to Frozen B. It's Frozen B. You really are in the dark. Frozen B is the nearest galaxy to ours. Anyway, not very many people go there unless they're stowing away on ships. So, how long has this been going on then? Follow me. Have a seat. 
Why do you think they built this international space station? To do tests on plants? All that money to test plants? No, no, no. This biosphere has been here for 14 years. The USA, Russia, Kazakhstan, oh, and Slough, they're all travelling round space, my good sir. Any aliens? Ha ha! Long story! Take a seat. Aliens, I think. But I'll let you find out for yourself. I knew it. You'll have to wait here till Earth time, 1855, where you'll meet a man called Mr. Clary. Okay. He used to be an SSSO. SSSO? That's right, Special Space Security Operations. He got fed up with the way they were treating the aliens, so he now flies the galaxy in stolen spaceship. Whoa, this is heavy. That joke won't work in space. Oh, okay, whatever you do, don't smack Mr. Clary in the face. Why? Because, my good man, he'll smack you back. Ha 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 ha! I to blow. You're Richie Rich. No, I hate you. But, um, you're Mr. Clary. This way. Are we clear to leave? Mr. Ayers, are we clear to leave? Wake up! Uh, sorry, my good sir. I thought you were talking to someone else. Are we clear? Clear what? Look, just open the doors. <laughs> okay, the doors. No need to get funny. Have we been drinking? Uh, well, I have. Don't know about you. <laughs> He's a strange guy. Too long on his own, and you'd better open those bloody doors. <laughs> okay, the door's open. No, it's not. Oh, sorry. I thought you meant my office door. Long story. Take a seat. Doors open now. Please remember to close the door on the way out. <laughs> Right, we're going to Frozen Week. And there are a lot of people there, you know, humans like me and you. Unless, unless you're an alien. I am not here to babysit rich, spoiled people. Just shut up and count the stars. Climate control at 68. Light increase by 5%. Decrease by 5%. Oh, and can you flush the toilet for me and, and order me a new white coat? Because my last one's got blood on it. Ha 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 ha! story. Take a seat. Oh, can you order me some new razors too? Jeff, you there, old buddy? Hello! Hello, G! I've just been told you've given pass to another visitor. Yes, nice chap. Not very smart, though. I think that the powers B has found out. I'm not scared of them. They need me here. They need you in your den. I warned you before about getting Mr. Cleary cussed. It wasn't me this time. Long story. Take a seat. Oh, damn it. It's probably a setup. They got you now, Jeff. You know they won't let people like us back on Earth. The mines for you. As a friend, I suggest you get Mr. Clary to get you out of there and hit Frosty Weed. Frozen Bead! Yeah, right. Lay low there 
and I'll make contact if and when the coast is clear. You're such a good man. Thanks. going on? I see your dreams. No man should have to live with that. So much hurt and pain. I've seen others have those types of dreams. But yours is the most self-destructive ever seen. Where are we going? To lay low for a while. Is there somewhere like comfy on this planet? Nope. Are we going to meet that chap? You know, the one that's not very smart? I'm not. You can if you want. So, what, you gonna, gonna help me get rid of these dreams? You need to face your dreams. Why are we running? You do know that there's Skoranas on this planet. Oh! Oh no! I thought G had them in his dome! He's got the small things that sound the same. Well, what are these then? Big, hairy, nasty things. Run! There's thingies behind us! No, the stones! They're about one mile ahead. You'll have to do this without me. You'll know the stones when you see them. Hey guys! Um, 
I wonder if you can help me. To do what? Um, to get some stones. I'll help you. If there's enough money in it. Oh yeah, yeah, loads. I mean, these um, these stones are worth millions. There's a ship. The ship's gone. Uh, hi. Um, have you seen any stones? Stones? Yes, stones. The stones. How many do you want? <laughs> Oi, Richie Rich. Leave him. He's not worth talking to. Wait, wait, sorry, sorry, sorry. Rich, is it? Oh, it's Pete. What, what, what kind of stones were they? I, I might have seen them. Well, then. Say no more. He's a murderer and a criminal. Rogers over there, he tried to kill the mayor over the congestion charge. I warned the people about letting him get away with it. You said he was a murderer. But don't you think pity on me? I've been in many years. So, you're an SSSO. Now he's scum. Look, look, Rich, is it? Stick with me. I'll make sure you're looked after. Seems like a decent enough sort of chap. Yeah, so, uh, the stones? He doesn't know where they are. Shiny. Present for me, Mum. That's not to be lying to me. Rich, is it? No, no, it's Peter. Down there, over that tree. That's where you need to go. I'll go. SSSO are after me, and I let Mr. Clary have clients from my part of the dome. SSSO. Not very fair, if you ask me. So you're just a dome worker? Yes, that's right. I look after the plants and the trees dome. Anybody hear that? No. I felt... I felt I heard that before. What? Skirana? No! When I, when the fire was in the flat and, and when, when I when I got locked when I got locked in that car! I've got to get away! Oh! This is highly unusual! It's after me again! I've got to get away! I've got to get away from here! I'll be back! for another stone on my own. I don't want you guys to die. Well, we're gonna look for another one ourselves. No. No. I shouldn't be this close to you. I can feel you've got one of the stones. So it's the right stone? Well, what's so special about it? The material that caused 
what you would call the Big Bang, was spread throughout the galaxy. And these stones, they're from that. And they're pure. But, but I don't get it. I mean, everything must have come from the Big Bang. Yes. Everything else was mixed and diluted. These stones are pure energy. How long have you been here then? Too long. I don't remember this planet as a prison. No, I came here myself. You're not here for the stones, though. No, no, not me. The SSSO were after me. But I don't see what the big deal was. Because they were going to tell everyone in a year anyway. <laughs> One year. Yes, that's right. They were going to tell the public all about the aliens uh, and the domes. Uh, uh, got it. You have to be quick. The devil will be back and I can't stop it. By coming to Earth, I broke the rules. And you dying is the only way it can be put right. Well, I need to know what's going on. You'll know. And you need to grab the chance with both hands. Be tougher. Say what's on your mind. And remember this. One year from now, the public will know about the domes and the aliens. So, what's going to happen with you? No other guardian has done this. I don't know. But oh, thanks. You're really doing all this just for me? Is it... Is it really to do my dreams? The others are coming. One has the other stone. Take it and smash them together. Oh, well done. Uh, can I have it? No. Oh, how dashed unsporting! Give the other one to me. No, no way. I'll kill him. Oh, oh no! This can't be right! It's coming! Where? Where? Who are you talking to? See? He, he's mad! Not me! You want to let me go because I'm not mad! You think you can take me? No! But I'll give it a try! This is crazy! Mr. Cleary died in a freaky way and you're talking to yourself! This is a long story! Someone have got the stone! Kill him!
Where did you move to? I told you, me and Morris were going away for a long weekend. Um, he's, he's over there waiting, I, I'd better go. Chris? Yeah? Your boyfriend's cheating on you. What? Um, has he crashed his car yet? No. Well, he's seen some girl and telling you he's working late. On the way back to you, he's going to crash his car because he's going to fall asleep at the wheel. Hurry up. Are you seen somebody else? What's up? What have you told her? Cross the street then. Hey, hey, mate, have you been security? I'm going to kill you, right? Go on, mate. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's not the bloody gonna kill you. You need to toughen up a bit. You need to toughen up a bit. You need to toughen up a bit. You'll know. And you need to grab the chance with both hands. Be tougher. Say what's on your mind. That was spoken. Are we wrong? Some people go their whole life never finding the one they want to be with. But he's found you. To him, you're everything. He's the sort of guy that would die dreaming of you. He'd travel time and space just to be with you. Well, I've got a couple of spare tickets to Paris. Want to come? I'd love to. Just one moment, please. Airport security. I've seen on the cameras there's some sort of disturbance. Could you explain what's been going on? He must have been Dylan. Good afternoon. The time is 2 p.m. I'm Clifford Hoft. Here are today's top stories. Fireman Mark Thomas was honoured last night for his heroic rescue of a family in West London. Mark Thomas died while rescuing the Patel family from a house fire on the 4th of June this year. Mark's wife is said to be happy, and she can now let him rest in peace. The Oscars have come early this year for one actress. Annabelle Brown was nominated for her role in the independent film Call Me a Psycho by Super Team Productions. Super Team Productions had been planning to make fan films, but at the last moment they changed their mind and they came up with the hit comedy, Call Me a Psycho. Peter Ward and his girlfriend Christine Wheeler have placed all their life savings on a bet. The bet is for the public to find out about aliens within the next five years. If they win the bet, not only will mankind realise they're not alone, but Peter and Christine will be the richest people on the planet, with a whopping £56 billion pound payout. A NASA spokesman has refused to comment. Road congestion charges have been scrapped due to public pressure. Last week, the public refused to drive into the zone. This caused the government so many problems they had to scrap the toll. A spokesman for the Freedom to Drive movement said, If we allow this toll to go ahead, I'm sure within a few years we'll have to pay to drive on every single road. Here's the weather in your area. Oh, hey. 